Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Galactic Civilization 3, the beta, as the Drengi. So we are just exploring right now. We're passing some turns. Um, our capital has nearly completed its first work camp, uh, which should significantly boost the overall production that we see on this planet. Um, we're doing okay on population. We've got 16 metric tons of food and a population of 10.6. I believe that's a million. We're doing okay there. Our approval has dropped down to 99%, and you get a bonus based on having high approval. Notice how it says growth plus 40%, production plus 40%, influence growth plus 40%. And so um, if you actually have 100% approval, then those bonuses would be 50. So we're going to change the balance of our, our overall planet a little bit. We're going to get a little tiny bit more wealth to bring that approval back up to 100 and by doing that, we're going to see uh, bonuses of 50% instead of just 40. So hopefully that'll help out just a little bit. Let's go ahead and pass this turn. A single intact defender orbits the remains of a planet destroyed by the terrible weaponry of the Dreadlord's War. The crew long dead stand their posts, waiting for reinforcements that never came. Lost defender. Okay, we just picked up a new idle ship. Excellent. So we got a, a lost defender. Lost defender 2, in fact. You go to the ship list and see that we actually have two lost defenders. Pretty sweet. I believe they're nearly the uh, nearly the same ship, although this one has slightly more movement points than this one does. Actually, no, this one just says uh, three out of four. They both have four movements. This one just has three left. This one has four left. All right, well, we'll have him scout too. And let's go check out the production on our capital of Drengi. Oh, it's still not actually complete. That's interesting. There we go. Shipyard is unanchored. We're going to anchor it here. That just means that we don't want to move it anymore and it won't pop up. Come on, tell me that thing's done. <clears throat> Excellent. So now these are only going to take four turns to build instead of just like, taking five. And uh, the overall production that we're going to see, again, our approval keeps slipping. We might want to just change the government or the governing even further in that, that path. Now, building ships is hugely important, so we do need to start building some ships soon. But um, I just I like I like to boost up overall production early in the game, and uh, also it's going to give us a little tiny bit of time to unlock a technology or two, so we can design some new ships, and then we'll actually have ships worth building. In the meantime, we're just kind of exploring a bit. We've got Nebula. 50% movement, minus 50% sensor range. Ooh, you could hide in a nebula. Fancy. And then what's this thing here? The black hole. Hmm, that's not good. Probably should avoid that. Uh, apparently this is an artifact. Two artifacts. Well, hopefully the survey ship is going to make a beeline for it. Looks like it is. It's actually coming from really far away to go straight for those artifacts now that they've been identified. So in this case, we're going to command it, we're going to cancel survey, and we're going to command it manually so that it doesn't just ignore all of this space. I'd rather that it go this way and then up to those. <clears throat> we found a uninhabitable planet, a gas giant, and uh, two more uninhabitable planets. Found a gas giant here. Alright, research. Putting ships in space is pointless if those ships can't shoot other ships out of space. Yes, indeed. So now we can build lasers, the Sparrow missile launcher, and some cannons. And it allows us to also do advanced star-based defenses. So next, um, weapon specialization, I think not. Um, Diplomacy is kind of useless at this point since it's not really in the game. I think I'd like to do... Um, Full description goes here. <laughs> Need to do some tooltip localization. See where it says capacity 50. It's, this is basically a new ship design. We're allowed to build small ships that have a capacity of 50 units. Um, I think we should do some xeno exploitation now. Or maybe planetary exploitation. Let's do Xeno Exploitation. So that, that symbol is the symbol for artifacts. Let's go ahead and bring you over this way now. 
He has much larger sensor range compared to these little tiny ships because of the actual makeup of the ship. He's got a survey module, which gives him a sensor range of three. And this ship has a... It doesn't have any sensors. So it can only see based on the fact that it is in space. So its default sight, I believe, it must just be, what, two? So two plus the sensors makes this one have a sight range of five. We could build a very specialized little tiny scout ship that um, has no defense. That's actually Defender. The scout ship here has uh, three movement, and I believe that the scout ship does have some, some sensors. Yep, navigational sensors, sensor range of two. So you can see decently. Okay, let's bring you over here now. Still haven't found any enemies, but that's to be expected. We're, we're set a pretty big map. There's quite a bit of space. But there's three of them out there. So we'll find them soon. Okay, working on the third, the third work camp. Now, if you look at these, you can see Manufacturing Improvement 3. Um, it has total manufacturing plus 15% because of that bonus. And then this one, total manufacturing plus 5, total manufacturing plus 10, or it will once it's complete. And so we're seeing quite a bit of a bonus. Civilization Capital provides 20%, but then the two work camps we currently have are providing 40% bonus overall, which is quite a bit. Um, our approval has slipped yet again. And yet overall production on this planet is quite high. So I'm going to again go to the government thing. I want to get approval back up to 100. I do want research, but yeah, we'll just kind of go like right there-ish. And once we get that third thing done, we're going to start building some ships. Got some antimatter there. We've got a planet. Now notice the difference in planets. These hollow circles represent planets that are completely uninhabitable. But then when you're looking at other planets, like say this one, you can see right there, Ashen 3 is uh, is a good, it's a good planet. So why don't we go ahead and build a, uh, a new ship. We'll go to our shipyard. We'll say manage the shipyard. And let's build a colony ship. Large but fragile ship equipped to colonize distant planets. <clears throat> we will build it or do we want to just buy it? I still want to do the production towards the work camps. Let's just buy it. It's going to cost 1,600 credits, but eh, whatever. We'll just pay credits for it. Some races in this game <clears throat> have deep discounts to the cost of purchasing items or, or ships or buildings or things like that. And they are also very trade focused, so they have lots of money. Other ones are going to have huge bonuses to research. Others have huge bonuses to production. Others just have combat bonuses. Um, you know, it's a pretty balanced overall game. Alright, so we're pretty good there. So since we we paid for it, it should be complete this turn. Here's our new ship. Now when you build a colony ship, it does take population from the planet that you built it with. So that's going to affect the population of Drengi and reduce the amount of overall production that we get. But we definitely want to go and colonize Ashen 3. Let's just send it straight there. It's going to take it, looks like about four turns. And that's fine. There's an anomaly there. It's a ship graveyard. This is why I'm, I'm glad that we came in this direction. I had a feeling we'd find another. And we're just one turn shy of being able to go there. Next turn. Survey report. The ancient scout craft your survey ship stumbles upon is built on technological principles your crew can only guess at. One of your engineers decodes the secrets of the part, part of its sensor technology, however, and with a little creativity is able to adapt it to your own ships. So plus 25% sensor range to all ships in fleet. Now when it says fleet, it's not talking about all of our ships, it's talking about all ships in the fleet of ships that just discovered the artifact. This ship, um, this survey ship, should have a, a larger yeah, sensor range 6.3 now. And I don't see where there's like a modifier, but it's just it's just factored in. Um, it was at 5 and it went up by 25%, which would be 1.25. So 
there we have it. We still have some movement, so let's move you along. And that'll be the end of that turn. Colony ship en route. And there's another ship graveyard. Cool. Go check this one out. We found a lost scout ship. Excellent. Well, why don't you continue to scout then, little buddy? Found some space junk, another antimatter, or another uh, artifact. How is that work camp on the capital coming? One more turn. You can actually see it over here. So Drengi has uh, finished its queue. We can see that we've got overall manufacturing bonus 70% um, now from those work camps. Again, though, the vast majority of your production comes from population. So just having the 70% bonus is nice. But we want to get this population up significantly. And I believe the amount of population that we lost by building this ship was... What? Cost, crew, maintenance... I've seen it before. It's somewhere in here. You can see the actual population cap 5. Somewhere in here you can see the actual population on the ship. Population 2.5. So we took 2.5 million people, or billion people it might be, off of that planet, which reduced the production significantly. Um, we're still at 100% approval. We want to get our, our population to grow now, I think. Um, so what we could do is we could actually flip it up now and like do birthing subsidies. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll do birthing subsidies. And then um, we're going to go to govern. We're going to go ahead and flip this over to manufacturing. And let's queue up an actual ship that we want to build. Build a sniper. This is not. These ships are going to show up. They're automatic. The guardian ship shows up automatically as you unlock them. Um, you can you can get rid of that by going to user, and then it'll only show you ships that. Uh, that you want, or like user design ships. Core is going to be the core ships of the of the game. Oh, I apologize. This is sorting by 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 type. It's a sorting mechanic. So if you build your custom ships, they'll show up at the top. But because we haven't constructed any custom ships, they're just not going to show up. Um, if you want to get rid of them, I believe you can just decommission or like delete the ship. You can't permanently remove it from the game. But um, do we want a sniper? Uses missiles. I don't know if we actually need too many more ships. Let's build a constructor. It's going take 30 turns. What, what is the reason for that? The constructor costs how much? 107. And right now we're getting 3.7 from Nrengi and 0 from Kona. Feels to me like we should get a little bit more than that. What we can do is go 100%. And then let's un-rally or un- We'll go manage the shipyard. And then we'll remove the link to Kona. So we'll have all the production from the capital, Drinky Capital, go to the shipyard, and we'll let this one just build the work camp. Because that's that's fine. So this should take fewer turns now, down to 15 turns. And it'll be even quicker soon. Because I will, next turn, link Kona back up again. Let's go ahead and go to the next ship. <clears throat> oh, see, look, we can't, can't actually explore that because it's outside of our our uh, so support range, life support range. <clears throat> so we'll have to upgrade the ship a bit before we can do that. I'm an idle colony. All right, you've just finished your work camp. Very nice. Now you, we can build a research chamber. Build research plus 10%. We've got uh, an ancient wonder, which has bonuses to things that don't matter yet. Consulate. Affects influence. It's a typo. That's kind of comical. Another work camp. Maybe. I think not. I think we just do projects. We don't need another shipyard. We 
We could use the growth, though. And then let's go ahead and relink that shipyard. So now the uh, the fact that we have 100% military spending doesn't really matter because the birthing subsidies don't cost anything. We're just sending all of our production to the shipyard. It'll knock this thing out quite a bit faster starting next turn. Okay, next turn. Colonized planet? Uh, absolutely. On this planet, there is a specific species of fish, which seems to possess a form of collective intelligence. The fish seem to become more intelligent the larger the group they're in, and in the larger schools can clearly communicate with us, and even seem to understand advanced concepts like space travel and where we're from. The fish also have several concerns about the way our colony is being built. What are your orders? Uh, do everything we can to accommodate the fish and ensure all future colony development is run by them first. This is their home, and we will benefit more if we are gracious guests. In the meantime, we can do what we can to study their collective intelligence. We could become a little bit more benevolent. 20% research bonus, minus 10% production. We can get a defensive bonus if we warn the fish that we're not popular in this... Warn the fish that we're not popular, and that now that they won't be popular either. <laughs> That's funny. Um, we could do a pragmatic approach and get a slight bonus to research with no production malice. Um, I'm going to do Merciless only because I want to be able to unlock the first um, thing. We've got a military, well, we got Wasteland that's got a military and a manufacturing bonus and a military and a wealth bonus, the caverns. So that's interesting. This planet has a thin atmosphere, plus 25% total production and plus 25% food. So we can see instead of having base 8 food from the capital, we actually have 10 metric tons of food. Swarm-like fish, plus 25%. Hmm. So, um, what do we want to build here? I think in general, a work camp is just always a, a good option. We'll build one, a couple of them up there. It'll take forever. I wonder, can we link... Um, military manufacturing provided one. I think there's a penalty because it's so distant. I'm not really sure exactly what the penalty would be, but the link from a planet way down here all the way up to that shipyard, you can imagine it would be kind of costly. Now, because we have 20 malevolence points, we can unlock malevolence. Doing this will give us soldiering plus 10%. There we have it. We've unlocked it. Next, we can unlock Coercion and Fear. Fear evidently gives us 10% production. That's good. Coercion, our race's intent interest in military research and development has resulted in the creation of a prototype ship that is truly ahead of its time. That's cool. Greed gives us wealth. Terror. Nice. All planets receive a fully armed Overlord class ship. Damn. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to take a break here. I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.